Hey everybody, it's Miss Nickerson and today I'm going to show you about an awesome tech tool called Wakelet. So I'm a Wakelet ambassador, I've been using Wakelet for over a year now and I think it is such a great tool for you to be using in your classroom and I want to show you all the ins and outs of how to get started and possible ideas on how to use Wakelet. So Wakelet is basically a tool where you can curate resources and share it with your students or with anybody else really. So I'm going to show you how to log in and give you some examples and then show you how to create a collection of your own. So I'm going to log in with Google just like I do with everything else. So I'm going to click log in and then I'm just going to continue with Google and select my name. So now that I'm logged in, Wakelet automatically takes me to my different collections. So I'm going to walk you through what some of those collections look like to give you some inspiration and possibly some ideas for your own classroom. So to start at the beginning of the year, something that you could do very easy is make your Meet the Teacher with this. Wakelet also gives you the option to share your collection as a QR code. So maybe if you have a handout at Meet the Teacher, you can simply print out a picture of your QR code in the bottom corner and then they can have this to view at home. So for this, I totally personalized it and customized it. My background is Horseshoe Bend in Arizona. I've actually been there, I have pictures there. So I wanted to make it more authentic and more like me. So for Meet the Teacher, I chose that as my background. I uploaded a picture of myself and then meet the teacher, Miss Nickerson. So Wakelet lets you paste any web address and it creates collections. So I'm going to show you this as an example and then show you some other examples. So I decided to add some text. So I just clicked add text and I wrote about me and I said my name's Allie Nickerson and I just gave a background of who I am as a teacher. I included a picture of my dog Cooper here because my kids loved this picture. They thought it was hilarious. Um, I also included links to my own Google Docs, Google Slides, things like that. And Wakelet automatically puts it in the collection with a picture and a little blurb about it. So for the first one, this was my presentation that I gave at Meet the Teacher. I had um, a virtual classroom with a video where I gave a tour of my classroom, so I included that here. I had a Google site that included all the useful websites for students and parents, so I included that. And then I just had a little blurb about my favorites, so I said my favorite book, color, all that with emojis, and then how to contact me for um, parents to be able to get a hold of me. So that was my little Meet the Teacher, super quick and easy to put together. Another way that you could use Wakelet is to just house resources. So for me, I had a call with our Pear Deck success coach, and she was sharing a lot of really cool websites that we could be using and resources to help our teachers. So I quickly put this Wakelet together, and as she put them in the chat, I was putting them in this Wakelet. So here were all the resources that she gave us, and it automatically chooses a picture and adds a blurb to your Wakelet collection. So these were all the resources that she gave me. So if a teacher ever says, how do I get started with Pear Deck? If they feel ready to have all these resources thrown at them, I can share this Wakelet with them and it answers every question they could possibly have about Pear Deck. So it is just a great way to house information. And I was able to put a YouTube video in there. I was able to put all of these links to Pear Deck um, their website. So Wakelet was just a no-brainer for a place to house all of this information. So if I go back to my collections, back in my collections I want to show you a couple more examples. So I did a professional development on the must-have teacher extensions and this is where I posted all of the extensions for teachers to find and pick the ones that they wanted to install themselves. So here I just curated a collection of all my favorite extensions and I put them on Wakelet. So as I said, I am a Wakelet ambassador, so I had to complete an application. So Wakelet had a template, and I was able to make a copy of that template and then fill it out with my own information. And so I just added text of why I wanted to be a Wakelet ambassador. When I wanted to be a Wakelet community leader, I was able to insert a video using the flip camera, formerly Flipgrid, and talk so they could actually hear my response and hear why I wanted to be a community leader. So it was super easy 
that's the nice thing about Wakelet is that you can post any web address, but also they have so many integrations with other tech tools and that's what makes them so unique and awesome. So I have seen collections before where it's strictly tweets like people talking back and forth on a topic so say you're a high school history teacher talking about a war then you could find all of the tweets that people were putting out about that war and you could put them into a wakelet and just have everybody's thoughts from twitter on your wakelet page so you get to moderate that board and make sure it's school appropriate for your kids you also can include the option to include a video so if you want kids to share their thinking so if you're a math teacher and you give the kids an equation not only do you check if they have the right answer say hey please upload a video of you solving this problem and explaining your thinking so you make sure that they have the understanding and can talk about their thinking so thinking about thinking and they can get very meta you can also include youtube google drive OneDrive, adobe express the list goes on i think no, I know that they actually just added Canva into their integrations as well. So if you are a perfectionist and want to make things pretty on Canva, you can now integrate that into Wakelet as well. So that's what makes Wakelet so cool is just the amount of app smashing that they do. Um, so let's go back to my collections. And I want to show you about how I would have used Wakelet in the classroom if I had known about it, which I wish I did. So back when I was in the classroom, I was doing blended learning and I didn't even know that I was doing that, to be honest. I didn't know what blended learning was, but I was using it in my classroom every single day. So blended learning is when you have synchronous and asynchronous teaching happening at the same time so it's blended you have kids learning online while you have kids learning in person so during my small group time i would pull kids back to work with them one-on-one -on -one or in small groups and make sure i was providing differentiated instruction while i was doing that i had assignments for kids to do on a playlist so i gave them a playlist because i found that so many kids just had huge gaps especially coming back from virtual learning the gap between my kids was huge so i couldn't expect that it's realistic for one group to finish something in 15 minutes they really needed to complete their tasks at an individual pace so what i did was i created a playlist and i didn't even know that i was doing that i made a big to-do list for my kids and just told them at your own pace move through this and then if you finish all that, you can come see me and we can talk about your options. So I'm going to show you my reading example. I would have used Wakelet like this in the classroom. So I said here, great reading resources during small group. I would have a to-do list. So this is what I used to write on my board was I used to say, one, complete a lesson of reading exact path. Two, complete a lesson of language arts exact path. So I just had a to-do list or a playlist for my kids. And they got to complete this at their own pace. So here on this weekly, I included links to Freckle and all of that, except for Freckle, it's probably easier for them to log in through their single sign-on if you have it, because it will log them in with Clever. But I had all of the activities for if they finished early. So typing.com, PBS Kids, um, Storyline Online, this was if my kids finished early, they could go here if I had known about Wakelet, they could have gone here and found any of these websites and they could have continued their reading without even knowing that they were reading because these activities most of my kids thought were really fun. Um, so I wish that I had had Wakelet so that they wouldn't need my attention as much to ask, what do I do now? Another way that you could use Wakelet is a way that we actually used it in one of our professional developments in my district was we had a cohort where we had a template of Wakelet. We had like an overarching template and we had a spot for video responses. We had a part for people to upload pictures, to write in their own text, and they all just made a copy of our template and then they shared their link with us so that we could see all of their Wakelet collections, which was really, really cool. So if you wanted to have like guided note taking, you could have kids fill in the blanks on their own Wakelet, you could have them post video responses, upload pictures of their work, however you want to do it. So now I'm going to get to the part where I show you how to make your own Wakelet collection. So I started this one and it's called Fun Friday. This is an idea that I would have used in the classroom if I had known about Wakelet. So on Fun Friday, kids got to go on to certain websites that were still educational and not 
just roaming the internet free range. So one of those websites was like Prodigy, where kids love Prodigy, but that wasn't really standard space during the week, but on Fun Friday, I would allow them to go on it. So I created this collection, and all you have to do is, if I go back, I'll show you, you just click Create Collection. So as soon as I did that, it popped up and it said add title here. And all I did was I pasted the web address for Prodigy right here. It's super easy to edit and go through. So I just said Fun Friday. Here are the websites you're allowed to use during Fun Friday time. And the first one I put was Prodigy. If I wanted to put Freckle, I could put freckle.com. And Wakelet automatically adds Freckle to my Wakelet collection. So that's pretty cool that it already has a little blurb, title, and a picture. And that's the same thing that happened with Prodigy 2. If I say okay, the kids can go to pbskids.org, then it adds PBS Kids. So all of these websites you can curate for your kids so that they know exactly what they're allowed to go on during Fun Friday. So if you wanted to change the lookout of this, you can do that by clicking on the paintbrush. So if this were for a playlist where you say first this, then this, then this, you'd probably want it to be in the media view. This is how my meet the teacher one is because they can only see one thing at a time as they scroll. So maybe you say first complete PBS kids, then this, then this. So that is the media view. The compact just makes it smaller, but it's the same style as media view. Grid view, it makes it into nice little squares for you that look like a grid. The mood board looks kind of like Pinterest where it's going to fit in wherever it can, kind of like Tetris as well. And then columns is that it's going to have different columns with different titles. So for example, if you wanted to put math work, reading work, writing work, and just have the whole day's work on one collection, you could do that. But I'm going to go back to our mood board because I just want it to be a collection for the kids. There's not really one that they need to complete first. They can complete whichever ones they want because it's Fun Friday. So on my mood board, it's just going to fit in the websites wherever it can. If you had online coloring sheets or things like that, like a PDF, you could also upload that and they could work on that. If you wanted to post certain educational YouTube videos, I know my kids loved Mr. DeMeo. Maybe you could put links to Mr. DeMeo's YouTube on here and certain videos that you would like them to watch during Fun Friday. So that is just one idea of how you could use this in the classroom. I'm going to show you some really awesome other ways too. So I'm going to show you really quickly all of the awesome tools that you have access to on the left hand side here of Wakelet. So if you go to the search, a lot of people tend to use Wakelet for newsletters. So I'm gonna search for newsletters and you can see all of the different teachers or other people on Wakelet who are using Wakelet for newsletters and you can browse them and if you see one that you like, you can make a copy of it and you can edit it to your own liking. So that's really cool. It's very much like Google where you have the ability to make copies, make changes, see other things. It's very Google Drive feeling in that way. There is an explore feature where you can see what other teachers are doing as well. So see what's popular on Wakelet right now. Here's that Canva and Wakelet collaboration I was telling you about. That um, integration between Canva and Wakelet is going to make it so aesthetically pleasing. Here somebody did an all about me um, with Canva for Meet the Teacher. So awesome. And there are just so many amazing things that you could be doing on here. If you go to collections, this takes you to all of your personal collections. One thing that I would suggest is make sure that you go into your settings of a collection and make it public, otherwise kids won't be able to see it. So make sure that you publish it to your profile, otherwise it's just going to be private for only you to see. So if you were to look at my Wakelet from a public view. I actually only have five that are public for people. The rest are just things that I wanted to keep for my own knowledge. Again, being kind of similar to Google, Wakelet allows you to collaborate on Wakelet collections. So here, these are all the different things that were shared with me with my teammates that they wanted me to work on. So this is 
a way that Wakelet can be very collaborative. Another feature that I haven't really explored that much because I don't have a classroom is classroom. Within the classroom, you can assign certain templates for students to fill out, which is really awesome. I haven't used it too much, but I do know that it's there. So that is pretty much Wakelet in a nutshell. It is such a great place to curate your resources, to have students fill out work, to have students have an idea of structure and where to go to look for things. It is a great way to implement blended learning in your classroom as well so that you don't constantly have students asking what they should be doing or where to find something. They're just a couple clicks away. So if you ever want to share a, so let's say I wanted to share this Pear Deck presentation with my class, I would just click on the share button and then I can either copy the link and send it out through Relay, Relay Classroom. I can get a QR code that will pop up so the kids can scan it with their Chromebooks or I could just post it directly to Google Classroom. So super, super awesome that you're able to do that. If you wanted to have a whole class Wakelet collection, you can do that as well by adding collaboration where anyone can add. And that is a whole different link and QR and join code but how cool to have your whole class working on a project together. So that is pretty much Wakelet in a nutshell. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope that you go out and use Wakelet with your own kids. Let me know down below if you have any ideas for how you're going to use Wakelet in your classroom. And I will see you all on my next video. Bye, guys.